And when I went through depression afterwards, I was a different person than I was before. And I, and I feel more um, grounded now than I did then. And I probably relate to the artists who, so many of the artists I work with suffer. So many artists suffer because that's part of what makes an artist great is their level of sensitivity that this, the same thing that makes uh, an artist uncomfortable, other people don't feel at all. The time you were depressed, what was the darkest moments of your life? What took you there? How did you get out? It was triggered by a, a person making a comment about something to do with work that didn't matter. You know, it was like a, to anyone else, they would hear that and it would just be like, okay, we'll deal with it next week, whatever. But for some reason I took it in a way that um, I felt like the rug had been pulled out from under me. Even beyond the rational part of it, of understanding, you know, even after the problem that came up was solved, it somehow undermined something in me and made me feel very vulnerable in a way that I hadn't felt before. And it spiraled. How did you get out? I did a lot of different kinds of therapy. I did, um, starting with alternative therapies, I was seeing, I would say, between seven and eight doctors and or therapists a week. Um, acupuncture, uh, talk therapy, um, herbs, or a any, any possible modality, tried everything for a long time and um and and nothing seemed to have an impact and then finally um i'm wary of taking any western medicine i'm not a drug taker and uh, or drinker or partier in any way and um i found a a psychopharmacologist who was a psychic. But because she was a psychic, I was okay to see her. Cause she's <laughs> like, I'll, I'll do, I'll listen to a psychic, yeah. but I'm not gonna listen to a psychopharmacologist. But the fact that she had the, the psychic, uh, that made her fit into my worldview. And, um, and she recommended an antidepressant, which went terribly wrong in the first night that I took it. And then I, that set me on a journey of looking for the right antidepressant, which was a long and painful process. That's a heck of a journey. Every one that I took made me sick, every one. And then finally, so I don't know, five months later, six months later, I found the magic one that worked for me. And it, um, it shifted me out of the depression. I took it for, I can't remember, it was six months or a year, and then weaned off and was okay. And then I had another event some years later. I think I took it again for a short period of time and got out of it and I've not needed it since. Were you able to kind of introspect the triggers that led to the events? Is there something, or is it random events of life? I think it's more that um, because of the way that I grew up, I never had to deal with much controversy. Ah. And um, when I when I was challenged, I didn't have any ability to deal with it. It's like um, you know Jonathan Haidt talks about. It's like that. So it, you've actually also mentioned like business sometimes gives you stress. So these this was business related stuff. Yeah, it was a business related thing. It just made me feel bad. 